Uh, hello everyone. Today I will try to express how can we solve a four bar problem by using Excel. And let's assume that this four bar is our problem. The length AB, the link AB has length of two centimeter and BC is six centimeter and DC is five centimeter and distance between point A and point D is nine centimeter. And this is our four bar like this. And let's assume that we are assigned to find maybe other angles theta two and theta three when the theta one is equal to 70 degrees. When I say theta two, I mean this angle. Let me show. And this angle is theta two and this angle is theta three. Uh, right now, of course, I can basically find this by using geometrical software, but let's concentrate on how can we solve by using Excel analytically. Now, these are my uh, lengths. A represents distance between A and B. B is the second length and C is the third length. And D is the distance from A to D. Now, for theta one, theta one is our uh, design parameter. Uh, let's it is changing from zero degree to three hundred and sixty degree. Let's make it three hundred and sixty. Yes. Now. I know AX and AY are always equal to zero because it is at origin and it's a fixed point, as you can see. And D is also another fixed point in my mechanism. DX is equal to the length between A and D, which is this one. And I should uh i should use the f4 button to state this and by double click as you can see it is always nine and the vertical position is always zero d is also another fixed point now i can find the horizontal position and vertical position of B by using theta one. It is the horizontal position is horizontal position of A plus the length. Of course, I should state this by clicking F4 times cosine of theta one, but here you should be careful because Excel is always working with radians. So uh, I should do this pi over eta 180. Multi I should multiply with pi and divide by 180 in order to convert degrees to radians. Now this is x as you can see now b y is the vertical position of a plus length times sinus of theta one let's write a i plus this is the length and i should fix this times Sinus of theta one times pi 
over 180. Now, the most important text, uh, task is finding the position of C or finding theta 2 and theta 3. Uh, let's start from finding the distance between point D and point B. Uh, we can find this by using cosine theorem. We know theta 1. We know the distance between A and B, and we know the distance between A and D. By using all of those, I can find the distance between D and B. Let's say this column is distance D and B, and this distance is always changing, as you can see. Now, By using cosine theorem, this should be basically equals to square root of the length of AB square. Of course, this should be fixed plus length of AD square. minus two times length of AB times length of AD. Times, of course, cosine of theta one. This is the cosine theorem times pi. Okay. Over one hundred and eighty. This is the distance between D and B. Now, by using this distance, let's show it. Uh, I can find the angle. Uh, between link db and horizontal axis like let's say that this angle is beta uh, i am talking about this angle uh, okay yes horizontal axis and this link, this angle. Now, see that. Uh, again, I can find inverse of, actually there is, there is a function named as a and two, maybe you have heard this. Uh, we are using a and two function in order to find the angle. We know the position of B, we know the position of D, so we can find this angle. This uh, the first term in a and two will be uh, in inverse of cosine, and the other will be inverse of sinus. So this will be basically p x minus t x, and the other is p i minus t i. By doing this, I can find the angle. Uh, starting from D and ending at B. But of course I should, uh, the result will be in radians. I want it, I want to see this in terms of degrees. 
I am multiplying with one other than 80 and dividing to pi. If I want to convert from radian to degree, I should do the inverse. You know that. And at the beginning, it is 180. Let's see, is it? Yes, it is true. At the beginning, it should be 180. Now, by double click, I am applying this for all the rows. Now, I can also find the angle between DC and DB by using cosine theorem because now I know the length of DB. I know the length of DB, I know the length of DC, and I know the distance between B and C by using those three lengths, I can find the angle in here. Let's say this angle is phi. Okay, now, by using cosine theorem, it is the square root of, no, not the square root of, inverse cosine of the other parenthesis, length of BD, it's here, square plus length of DC, I know this, it is five, divided by two times length of db times length of dc. But of course they should be fixed. No, no. Uh, I am not sure whether it is the correct equation and I will quickly check for it. Uh, by looking for cosine theorem. Yeah, minus, what I'm forgetting this minus a square. This should be minus and BT. This is six square now, and I should fix this. Yeah, I think I am done in here, but my result will be in radians. I like it when it is degree, so I should multiply with 180 divided by pi. Okay. Now, this small angle is phi, and this big angle is beta. By using this, I can find theta three by writing beta minus this. Yeah, this is my theta two. And as you can see, when it is 70 degree, it is same with the geometrical software. So my solution is correct. And let me continue with the solution. Cx will be basically dx plus the length, if it should be fixed, times cosine of theta 3 times pi over 180. And ci, which will be di plus the length times sinus of theta 3 times pi 
over 180. Now, by using this Cx and Ci, I know the C point, I know the B point. I can easily find theta 2 by using 8 and 2. Again, the first term is distances of x. And the second term is distance of y. And if I do that, the results will be in radian. I want it to be degree, then multiply with 180 divided by pi. Now, let's see is it, whether it is correct or not. And when theta 1 is 70 degrees, the theta 2 is 22 times 381. And as you can see in our geometrical software, which is GeoGebra, it shows that when it is 70 degrees, the theta 2 is 22 times 38, which is the same. So we basically, we have basically solved for every angle of theta 1. Of course, it is a lengthy process, but when you do this for once, you can use the same Excel file for maybe other problems. This is a general solution for a uh, four bar problem. You can change the length from here, for example, and so you can solve for a different case. Thank you for your listening.